Hi everyone, welcome to Discovery Natural and let's just jump into the video. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Shola and this is Discovery Natural. So as you watch it, if you feel like subscribing, feel free to subscribe. Okay, so the question of today is how do you grow your hair longer, faster? Okay, so let's look at this and I'm going to be telling you the honest truth i'm not gonna bs you <laughs> i'm not gonna try to sell you anything i have no products here so in the honest way and the most practical way to grow your hair natural i'm gonna give you some instances and some ways to do that let's first start off with number one understanding that your routine plays a huge factor on retaining that hair growth you get so growing your hair longer is not all about buying these products using that product doing this doing that it's all about number one starting off with your routine what is your routine how are you taking care of your hair do you have a routine and the next thing is are you consistent in that routine so as we know hair grows right okay so your hair is always growing the reason why you feel your hair doesn't grow is because you are not retaining the hair growth that you normally get so another way that you can grow your hair longer faster is also making sure you are taking care of yourself from the inside let me tell you something if your health is not right if there's something going on in your health in your body then you might start to experience issues with your hair you might say your hair is breaking all the time why is your hair breaking all the time find the solution why your hair is breaking all the time and see if you can arrest that situation because if your hair is not breaking all the time what happens you retain more hair growth it is easy mathematics. One plus one equals two. If one, your hair is not breaking, plus you are retaining that hair growth each month, then together your hair will show the length it has retained. Easy mathematics. Another thing that could be causing that you might feel like, oh, I want to grow my hair longer, faster, look at what you are doing in terms of styling your hair so if you're someone that whenever you style your hair your hair is always out right and you are not maintaining you're not trying to keep it from being damaged by the external factors you are not always combing your hair all the time you will find that you will retain more length so one thing that i do and i find that this has helped me if i'm planning to retain length okay is to put my hair into a protective style now this is a protective style but know that protective styles for some people they might say oh protective styles damages my hair the damage occurs number one when you are putting in the protective style if the protective style is not put in the right way or number two if while you have the protective style in you are not taking care of your hair and number three, when you take down the protective style, if you are taking it down ashly and pulling out your hair, then you might not retain the hair growth you are having. So keep in mind that protective style works. Now the longevity of the protective style also matters. So let's say you put in a protective style. I like doing three weeks. Some people do a month. Some people do longer than a month. But while you are in that protective style, you have to be adamant about taking care of your hair moisturize your scalp give your scalp a good scalp massage the next thing that can help your hair grow longer faster is to reduce the product junkie life right what do i mean by that see let's just look at it this way you go and you buy a hair product okay and the hair product you you don't give it enough time to work you use it maybe one time maybe for a week or maybe for two weeks and then you're like oh you see another person using another product 
and you jump into that product you are not giving your hair the ample time for it to register that okay this is the product and for the product to work for example if you are sick right the doctor will tell you go to get medication and take the medication for so so amount of time for it to register into your body, the same thing goes for when you use hair product. Your hair starts adapting to that product, starts getting used to that product, starts figuring out that do we like this product or do we not like this product. So one thing that I have to tell you is that for me as a certified hair coach, when I have my clients and they come to me and I create a hair routine for them, for hair growth, for healthy hair, for repairing damaged hair, I curate products that they have been using. I always go and say, okay, what products are you using? We look through the products they're using and most of the time, 80% of the time, they're jumping from one product to the other. So I always tell them, I say, okay, let's pick a few products very simple routine your shampoo your deep conditioner your living conditioner your moisturizer and oil or oils of your choice five that's it keep it simple we do so many things if you're someone that you do diy you can still keep it simple if you're someone that you have to use some kind of spray or whatever you can still keep it simple be it whether water if you want to use water or clove water mixed with something or this or that but the general thing is you keep it simple now keeping your making your hair grow longer is not rocket science but also the next thing you have to realize is that your hair also has to do with your genetics in addition to what you are doing with your hair so they work together so genetically you might have issues where maybe people in your family don't grow their hair long maybe this and that but so many people have gotten outside of that box and they've been able to take better care of their hair than their ancestors their relatives their family members did so you can't put yourself into that box, but you can do things to proactively take care of your hair. So if you're someone that you are struggling with your hair, you don't even know how to create a routine, you don't even know where to start from, that is where I become your best friend okay and i become a hair coach for you so if you do want to let me be your hair coach you can look i'll drop the information down below on the screen but i also tell you one thing as i mentioned your eating habits what you do with caring for your hair low manipulation not always been in your hair one factor that I tell you that a lot of people that have long hair do is a lot of them, they minimize the use of tools in their hair. What do I mean by tools? They minimize the use of combing their hair. So they're not always combing their hair. If you're, someone like that, you're like, I have to comb my hair every time. Give it a try. Maybe at the beginning, maybe when you want to wash your hair, you use a comb, you use your fingers first to detangle your hair, then you use a comb to remove the rest of the shedded hair, and you drop that comb. Try not to touch it. When you are styling your hair, you can style your hair with your fingers. If you have to section, section your hair with the rat tail comb, you don't have to constantly talk through your hair. Try it for three months. Try it for six months. Try to go comb free. And I tell you, you will retain a lot more hair. One other stuff in terms of tools is heat. Constant using of heat in your hair can actually slow the progression of your hair. How do you grow your hair longer? How to grow natural hair longer? How to grow natural hair faster? Drop the heat usage. So many people will use direct heat. They'll use flat iron all the time. Sometimes too much of heat is not good, especially if you're using heat and you're not using a heat protectant. Can, that can drastically affect your hair. If you're someone that use hair color, you are coloring your hair all the time, 
you better have a good moisturizing routine because guess what our natural hair is naturally dry right and we're getting to a point where we want our hair to stay moisturized so that it doesn't break we want to strengthen it so that it doesn't break but if you have hair color in your hair your hair has been stripped due to the color but you need to intensify the moisturizing you do so if you decide that you're someone that oh i gotta color my hair make sure you are on top of your moisturizing game because if you're not on top of your moisturizing game guess what it will show and your hair where the color is will be brittle and it will break and you won't be able to retain that length that you have lastly one thing i have to tell you is that we don't think about this. This is something that a lot of us don't think about. One thing that really affects our hair is our emotional state. Stress. We carry on so much baggage of stress. You need to find an outlet or a way to eliminate, reduce that stress because stress can really affect your health not only your hair it can affect your health and it can also affect your hair so i'll just advise you that if any of my tips if you need more clarification comment down below also let me know what you did if you're someone that you're like oh my goodness my hair has been thriving i've been using this i've been using that let me know and understand with everything that you do consistent be consistent in whatever method you choose in terms of growing your hair or retaining your hair growth thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you all in another video take care bye